Hey everyone, I'm Armozi and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the goals. So, let's continue where we left off. I'm almost ready to declare war on the Kells. I actually decided to get a citadel right here because that's going to help me a lot, especially against the city-state. It will help me both against the Kells and against the stupid city-state. And this is a very good location for a citadel. I'll just have to buy one tile, unfortunately, because I can't afford to wait 20 turns. I'll buy this one. Also, before my declaration of friendship with Russia expires, I'll sell some of my aluminum. I'm about to get more anyway, and I need a lot of money for rocket artillery upgrades. Oh, they won't give me all 337. Okay, let's try 305. Really? 300? Can I sell aluminum to Polynesia then? Let's try. No, not Hiawatha, Polynesia. <laughs> Polynesia has enough money. More than enough money. They have a lot. No, they don't want to buy it. That's a little bit irritating. I could take a loan from Polynesia. One artillery unit upgrade will cost me over 500. It's either 530 or 560 to upgrade artillery to rocket artillery. It's not cheap. Hmm. I suppose I could go for this deal anyway. Uh, oh, 290, okay. Not a full price, but that's fine. So, let's position these units a little bit better. I might still take a loan. Oh, they denounced me. <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter anymore. I might take a loan from Polynesia. Just to upgrade an extra unit or so. I want as many rocket artillery units as possible before I actually declare this war. Okay, what's this? That's a shy plane. Doesn't really matter then. So this guy will go here. Disembark here. Disembark. More artillery. Which are the most experienced units? Anything with accuracy or barrage free? Okay, this one, this one, and this one from the looks of it. I got four artillery units with accuracy free. So this should be the priority for upgrades. Okay, then. Move over here. The top, fortify. As for the workers, I think I got everything I needed. Also, I'm about to get another tenant in four turns. So that's going to be civil society, which means specialists will only consume half the normal amount of food. And since I already have universal suffrage, I can lock all the specialist slots, which will give me quite a lot of extra food, more happiness, and more science for secularism. I should get at least 100 extra science for secularism if I lock most of my specialist slots. I was just waiting to get both universal suffrage for happiness and civil society for food. Oh, Bodica launched an attack. Okay. On this city, really? <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> That's funny. I still need this stupid unit to move out of the way. This is where I want the citadel, not here. All right. So this guy, well, I need to move first. I need to wait for that entire aircraft gun to move out of the way. I can't use this tile because this is in bombardment range of the city-state. We wouldn't want that. Let's upgrade. So, how much gold is this exactly? Yeah, 530. Upgrade this. And this. Now I could take a loan from Polynesia. But how much do I want? Good question. Hmm. He won't give me one for one because it doesn't work that way. Yeah, he definitely won't. How much gold do I want? I got 261. I got... Two more artillery units? Three more artillery units. I can take a loan for two artillery units. That's probably good enough. Yeah, that should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's try that then. Remove all of this. 
Okay, go down 50 gold or so. 1000. Wait, no, he won't give me a deal like this. I need to give him more gold per turn. 950. 920. 900. Okay. Is this actually going to be enough money? Yeah, it should be because I have 200 something. 850. Come on, bro, this is a good deal. 825. 800. Okay, that's decent enough. I might have to wait one or two more turns or get one more deal. I still need this door to move out of the way. Come on. Be reasonable. Okay, yeah, I have exactly enough. One gold extra. <laughs> Alright then. Just need to wait. For that city state you need to move. Workers will be unemployed now. I queued up some temples. Because my religion, or the religion I have in most of my cities, actually gets plus two happiness from temples. So that's some easy happiness. And my best trade routes right now are actually in Addis Ababa, from what I remember. Yeah, Addis Ababa and Harar. I should definitely get these two. Yep. Okay, this guy. He can chill in the city. Next. I'm getting satellites next just to build the Hubble Space Telescope to prevent Russia from building it. Russia is actually one of the civilizations with high science flavor. They tend to prioritize science a lot. Great, he still didn't move out of the way. Come on now. That's a different unit now, but it's still there. I need it to move. Okay, this is awkward. There are no more safe tiles left to use. I just need that guy to move out of the way. Before I declare war. Or I could kill him before I start my citadel. That's also a possibility. I won't be starting a citadel on any other tile. That's the one I want it on. For a good reason too. Anyway, more upgrades. Oh yeah, now I'm actually losing some money. So, I might need another loan. No, that's because of my cargo ships. Yeah, I can get better shade routes here. So, I'll send this to Addis Ababa. Highest gold is 26. Yeah, plus 10 gold per 10 now. But that means I'll need another mini loan. Or whatever you want to call it. Yes, I do. Which one do I want to upgrade first? This guy has slightly more experience. Okay, that works. I do actually need a mini loan. Right. I think it's around 38 gold for one gold per 10. He won't give you full 45. The AI won't give you full 45 gold for one gold per 10, no matter what. This is as good as it gets. Okay, hopefully we can declare war on the next turn. Oh, I didn't upgrade, I used setup. <laughs> Alright, we'll upgrade on the next turn. He wants to declare war on the Hiawatha. No, I don't think so. I got better things to do. Hiawatha might actually get conquered by Russia, finally. And more population. Okay, let's start the Citadel. Not much point waiting to declare war, it doesn't really matter whether I'm going to declare war first or start the citadel first. The Celts hate me one way or the other. So grab that citadel right now. Yes, I know I'm doing a fine job, but thanks. <laughs> thanks for the compliment. Okay, reposition a little bit. Actually, maybe not. The cavalry should be here to block access my other units. Okay, and cargo ship. It should go to Harar, actually. Yeah, Harar had the second best trade route with Gondar. Another unused worker. Yep, I don't need any more improvements. So, fortify. Plus some population. 
I'll be changing a lot of assignments on the next turn because I'm about to get civil society. Oh, Russia actually captured Onondaga. All right, great artist. Russia is getting a little bit strong, I would say. Russia is going to be my next target for sure. Great work. So let's grab civil society. And now I should redo every single city, more or less. Except this one, I suppose. Yep. Let's do that then. I want to lock most of the specialist slots. Because that's food, happiness and science. I think I'll pass on merchant slots. Okay, Addis Ababa has a holy side right here. I don't necessarily want to focus food in every single city because I need production in some of them. Addis Ababa is one of the cities I need production in to get a factory, research lab faster. So I'll leave it like this. No changes in that city, that's my capital. Okay, lock the engineer slots. Maybe. It will grow in 13 turns now. Okay, now I should redo all these assignments manually. I don't really need a lot of faith anymore. I think I can pass on Mount Sinai. On the other hand, I can still get useful things for science. Mostly science buildings. Not sure if I can get enough science for a research lab though. I'll check. Anyway. Let's lock all the great person improvements. So these, everything with food, like so. Now that leaves me with two citizens. I could lock the highest production tiles, so the aluminum and copper. That's still one food and a lot of hammers. I think that's going to be the best balance here. The city will grow in 14 turns anyway, and it's still getting 75 production. Yeah, I like that. As for production queue... Oh yeah, I should build the Apollo program, I suppose. Yep. Alright. Do I have a research agreement? Yes, in 5 turns. Which means I'll have to build Hubble Space Telescope. Probably in my capital. And I'm not quite done with these cities yet. Not even remotely close. So next one is VN. Lock all of these. And I'll change assignments. I think I want this city to focus mostly on food. Yep. Not entirely on food, but it has a lot of good food tiles. Lock all of these. That's three more. I might lock the jungles. I like the science. And Russia is quite strong. I don't want to fall behind. Yeah, I need to prioritize science a bit. Is this a landmark? Right outside of my border? This. Is this a landmark? Yes, this is actually a landmark. I could steal that with a great general if I really want to. I might get a great general from this war. That's interesting. Maybe I'll do it. Also, work about? No, I don't have refrigeration yet. Yeah, there's no point getting that work about yet because I don't have refrigeration. Which means I can't hook up the oil yet. We'll get artillery. Anyway, next city. Let's hurry up a little bit. Windmill in six turns, so that's yet another specialist slot. Prioritize food in this city. I like these iron tiles. Hmm. I like the pasture too. Three for the two hammers. Let's see. I want at least some production in the city. How's this? 40 hammers. And the city will grow in five turns. Okay. Good enough. Next one. Oh yeah, I didn't even finish a factory. It will be done on the next turn. I should get back to the city on the next turn. Okay. We'll go back on the next turn. Next, Lalibela. 
Okay, Lalibella. Lalibella is an interesting one because it doesn't have a lot of population. I don't think I can work all these specialist slots. No, probably not. And I want to work the manufactory because that's seven hammers and two culture. What about this? That's reasonable, I think. It will grow in 11 turns, which all things considered is pretty good, I would say. Yeah, for a city with 8 population, where I'm working one tile that's giving me zero food and three specialist slots, that's pretty good. Harar. Okay, lock all of these. I already increased my size by more than 100. Yeah, this is more like 150. So lock this. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fish. Hold on. This city only has 10 population, which is not amazing. But I like these fish tiles. And one more dude. It's still going to grow in 9 turns. Alright. Addis Ababa. Right, no changes here. Actually, yeah. I'm losing 9 gold per turn. I might lock some of these tiles with gold. So, you know, stop losing money. Like this. That's better. And make it grow. I can probably make it grow decently. One more, 11 turns. I'm not sure if that counts as decent. I suppose it does. 14 turns to get the factory, 11 turns to get more population. All right. Well, this is pretty good, I think. Oh yeah, I didn't actually use the cargo ship. So maybe it wasn't necessary to work all these tiles with gold, but I need the money. I didn't upgrade all my units yet. Do I declare war right now? Or do I need to do anything else? Actually, yes. I need to disembark with that rocket artillery. Okay, this is going to be weird. I need more space. Like that. The city state is really annoying. Yeah. If the city state wasn't here, this would be so much easier. And more convenient. Oh well. I'll declare war on the next turn. Also, I'm at 20 happiness. Happiness definitely won't be a problem anytime soon. And that's with some ideology pressure. City state. Okay, am I close? Turn more influence. I could try to stage a call, but that's a little bit risky. I have 15% chance to lose everything in this city state. And it's a pretty important city state for me. It has uranium. I don't think I want to risk that. I'll just wait. To either get enough money or regulations again. It's allied with Polynesia, so it's not like it will declare war on me. Anyway, I think I waited long enough. Let's get this war started. Yep, let's get this war started. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. The Celts are also allied to Jerusalem. But I can't do anything about that. So, this will be fun. Yes, declare war. Alright, let's do this. Now. What's the priority target? Probably the city-state units. Yeah, I have to do something about city-state units. Focus on this guy then. I do have Bombardment 2 on both my battleships, on one of them. But the second one is literally about to get it on the next turn. So yeah, focus on this Subit Infantry. Like that. And the Mobile Sum. Yep. It will have to go down. Mobile sums are pretty strong melee units, which is fairly irritating. What's the next best shade route? This one? Okay. As for the carrier, it won't be very useful anymore. At least not for now. And I think that's it on this turn. I got the research agreement with Russia very very soon, so that should give me satellites. I'll switch to Hubble Space Telescope as soon as I get satellites. I need to beat Russia to it. Russia will definitely try to build Hubble. I'm about 99% sure. Oh, also, I might lose that Gatling gun if I don't protect it better. 
I don't really care about that car here. Okay, let's do it like this. Get rid of that privateer. And kill the infantry. We got the bombardment too. Also, I should get logistics very, very soon. Let's see, I need what? 15 experience for logistics? 10 experience for logistics. Yeah, I'll get logistics on at least two, maybe three artillery units very, very soon. And that's going to help a lot. Yeah, the mobile sum is already attacking my cavalry. I need to get rid of that mobile sum before I lose my cavalry. The biggest problem I have around here is that I don't have a lot of melee units. I only have two melee units, the cavalry and my infantry. That's it. Can I destroy that? Yes, I can. Bye. Carrier. It will stay in Harar. Anything else I can do? Yes. One more rocket artillery. So what do I want to prioritize? The cavalry, maybe? That entire aircraft gun? Celtic infantry? City state infantry? This is a hill, so... This infantry unit... Wait, no, he can attack my rocket artillery here. Let's attack him once. That's that. This will be a fun war. And... Catherine completed the Manhattan Project. And I shot down one great war bomber. And I got a great scientist. So... That won't give me satellites, but it will be pretty close. I could save some great scientists. To get more science out of them. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, just to maximize their science. I don't need satellites right now, and popping that scientist wouldn't give me satellites anyway. Yeah, it wouldn't. I'll just wait. I'm about to get the research agreement anyway, so I'll maximize my science from scientists. Save them up for now. Assign delegates. I don't want world ideology. That's for sure. Not much to do with the workers anymore. Oh yeah, Jerusalem might actually attack me actively. I got a few units around here, so I should definitely use them. Any more units? I don't have a bomber, which is not amazingly useful against the mobile sum. I can still attack it. Well, Jerusalem might pillage some of my improvements around here, but whatever. I got two machine guns, that should be enough. So, any... Is it targets here? I can attack the archaeologist. I can just attack the city. I can't reach these two units. Not much point attacking an archaeologist. I think I'll just attack the city because reasons. Okay. Infantry or mobile sum? Probably both. Yeah, that stupid city-state is going to throw quite a few units at me. And I don't like that one bit. Oh well, we'll kill them. I don't really have a big choice. One down. Once I get logistics, this will be so much easier. I need logistics. Okay, I also need to not lose units. So let's swap this. Kill this. And do some damage to that other infantry. Can I pillage a tile to heal myself up? No, probably not right now. Stay fortified. I'm glad I decided to get the citadel. I would be in trouble without that. The Celts have quite a lot of units. And they have proper infantry now. Anything else I can do on this turn? Nope, not really. Let's check that tile assignment. Gold. The city will grow in 18 turns. I think it's time to switch the city to production. Yeah. Time to switch it to production. Sounds good. I'll get that artillery. Just to have some basic defenses. Not because I plan to use it in my current war. I could use it in my current war if I had an airport. And yeah, Catherine completed the Apollo program. I need to beat her to the Hubble Space Telescope. She will almost definitely try to build that. 
I don't think she has satellites yet. She should be behind me in techs. No, she's actually one technology ahead of me, alright. Interesting. New spy? No, that's not a new spy, that's an old spy. I should actually send him to Moscow. Yeah, let's spy on Moscow. Maybe I'll get to steal a tech, that would be nice. Research lab. Let's prioritize science. Sounds good. And I almost lost that artillery right there. Because of the city-state. Yeah. I told you, the city-state is going to be annoying. There's no way around that. Can I use a fighter? Yeah, I can use a fighter. Now I can heal myself up a bit. I don't like leaving that artillery at 19 hit points exposed. Oh, it will get targeted by the artillery inside the city, so I have to move it. Yeah, I have to move it. I can protect it with a battleship. That's probably a good idea. Okay, let's protect it with a battleship. But that means I have to target the Admiral or something. And... Do I even have a good target? I got that infantry. So I suppose there's that. Not much point killing the Admiral. I just attack him because experience. I don't like that artillery inside the city. Yeah, it's going to be annoying. Maybe I should take the city-state? It would take quite a few turns, but I'm considering doing that. Well, before I do that, let's destroy this. Okay, it's down. So maybe I'll take city-state first before attacking Bodica. This is a pretty good city, not amazing, but I have the happiness to sustain it and I'll have enough happiness to take cities from the Kells. I'm getting very close to logistics, I don't have any more targets, yes I do have a target. Alright, but anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one, so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.